Hey guys, it's Rika here again, and I want to introduce you to my new recipe segment, Famous Food Hacks. Yep, you heard me. I'll be replicating famous dishes from restaurants and fast fast foods. Okay, so our first in the list, it's been dubbed as Cebu Steam Rice, also known as Dim Sum Break Steam Rice or the Harbor City Steam Rice. If you're a local of Cebu, you know this dish, I'm sure. So let's start. Pork belly with skin and bones removed, then sliced into cubes. Chopped ginger. Garlic. Onions. Star anise. Flour, fish sauce, sesame oil, cornstarch, sugar, cooked rice, soy sauce. You can find the complete list of ingredients and measurements in the blog site. The link is on the description box below, okay? First, let's marinate this pork meat in soy sauce for about 15 minutes. Then add in our flour to coat it. It doesn't have to be perfectly coated, okay, since we just want that uh, meat to be locked in with the flour. Using a regular vegetable oil, Drop the pork meat in pieces. Don't worry if it's a bit sticky to the hands. It's basically part of the cooking process. Then flash fry this for 15 to 20 seconds. You don't need to thoroughly cook this yet, okay? On a separate pot, add a bit of that cooking oil from earlier. Then sauté the onions. Then ginger. Garlic burns faster by the way, so make sure to add it on the last part. Then add those pork bones from the belly earlier. Now if you have additional pork bones, add it here, the better the broth will taste like, okay? But surprisingly enough, these two pieces we have here is enough to give it that num num porky flavor. Add the pork cuts and stir for a bit. Then add the water. Followed by the star anise, peppercorns, fish sauce, sugar, 
and soy sauce for color. Since we have the salty fish sauce, no need to add salt to this, okay? Cover with the lid and let it boil for 15 minutes over medium heat. Now on a separate wok, add a bit of the oil again from earlier. And then pour all those rice. Fast forward from this boring part, <laughs> mix and add the soy sauce till you have a brown colored rice. All in all, this will just probably take you about 3 minutes to do. Back to the pot. Let's add the green peas. If you want to add shrimp, this is the part that uh, where you need to add it, okay? And a bit of taste test. Boil again for another 10 minutes. Okay, then let's add our sesame oil to give it that Chinese aromatic smell. Put it at the last part because sesame oil burns quicker, okay? That's a note for you guys. Then I've mixed the cornstarch with half a cup of water, by the way. And we will just slowly add it to the broth. Thoroughly mixing it and as you can see, that broth has turned thick just like how we want it. Now time to plate. Scoop a portion of the rice into a bowl. Then layer it with our saucy toppings. Also add a spicy kick by the way with my homemade Chinese chili oil. You can also check my recipe out for that. And viola! Look at how juicy, saucy, and mouth-watering that Cebu steam rice is. So what do you think? You think I nailed it? Let me know in the comments box, okay? Give this recipe a try and leave a comment below if you tried it and I would definitely love to hear from you folks. So comment, comment, comment down below and make sure to hit on the subscribe button for more recipes.